the week in four categories, so they're 0 for 16, even though they're 4 0. Second and nine at their 30. Back to Cates, a little misdirection. Sides to Gauthier, but he'll be stopped at the 36, short of the first down, and there's some equipment popping down there. Saskatchewan Rough Riders, when you look at what they've done at the end of last year, winning the Great Cup Championship 3 0 through the playoff run, they ended the season 5 1. That one loss, Chris, you mentioned earlier to the Toronto Argonauts, but 12 1 in their last 13 games. Ken Miller doesn't know what it's like to lose as a head coach. And trying to extend it against the team he worked for for five years, including that 2004 Great Cup win. Good kick by Borum. Penalty marker down. Dorsey on his way. And Deanna Carter. And Brandon Lynch with the tackle. Let's find out what the flag's all about here in the first minute of the fourth quarter. It was, it was right at the line of scrimmage. An earlier flag, either a holding by Saskatchewan or... It was, it was something that went on at the line, not down by where the returner was. And it's a holding penalty against the Argos. Yeah, of course, that, that would have been... Holding, Toronto, number 52, 10-yard penalty, first down. Yeah, it's, it's the punt return team, I should say, that would normally called it the holding at the line of scrimmage, and that would be Toronto in this case. So the Argos will start deep in their own zone. Three penalties and three consecutive kicks for the Utah Argonauts, and Rich Stuber is letting them hear it. Yeah, you don't want to be Aaron Wanker right now. No. Or Chris Hardy. Well, they have averaged about the 45 start position all night, but now back at their 10 with pressure, and Joseph gets it away, and Andre Talbot can't bring it in. You just think about those plays, though, those special teams plays, and you can understand why the head coach is so upset with his team. Takes seven points off the board on a fumble because Chris Hardy was inside the five-yard zone. The punt before that, Hardy had a holding penalty that took away really good field position at about midfield, and now they put their offense in a big, big hole here to keep plays in a football game. Joseph calling another audible. Here they come. Stands in, throws, and is that ball caught? Bobbled, but Bruce hangs on. Close to a first down, but well, let's see the spot. He is inside a yard away. Well, the impressive part of this play, I felt, was how it was the blitz was, was picked up. Hofford picks up his guy on the outside. And that gave Kerry Joseph just enough time to get that ball out of there, and it took a couple of tries for Arlen Bruce to pull that one in, but it's close enough for a measurement. That blitz is not picked up by Nathan Hofford. Kerry Joseph is sacked and may have to give up a safety. Couple of inches short. Watch the blitz coming from the bottom of your screen. It's the safety, Scott Gordon. There's the block, and it's not real pretty from Nathan Hopper. Doesn't have to be. Gave his quarterback a chance to throw it. Third and a couple of chain links. And the decibel level going through the roof. Anything to disrupt this play. Joseph's got it. A much needed first down. We mentioned Kerry Joseph last week over 100. Hasn't been as dangerous tonight, but for the 13 yard touchdown run. Yeah, and this drive is, is one that, you know, late in games is a lot of the time when he'd like to run and take off and try and when the defense is starting to tire, start take off and see if they can take advantage of that. Rich Stubler thought that Kerry Joseph has the potential to be a thousand yard rusher this year. Out of a double tight end, 
Joseph, and it's cleared, and here's James Robinson. Quiet night, but he turns it upfield now and has a big one up to the 51-yard line. So a 30-yard pickup for James Robinson. See the, see the end of that play. I want to point out the end of that play because it's a crossing route which he made a living off last week is Robinson coming all the way across from one side of the field all the way across to the other. And Joseph has time to throw it. Here he comes. At the end of this play, he makes one move, goes back inside, and then goes down. Sometimes, you know, everyone wants to see that tough receiver take a bunch of hits. Sometimes you can go too far and you cause a fumble. Past the three-minute mark, fourth quarter, first down, Argos at their 50. And a roll, wide open, and he misses Tyler Scott. Skipping that at his feet. Didn't quite get his shoulders around, Kerry Joseph, on that. Full roll to the left side, and as he's coming around, he really didn't get his shoulders all the way around and square. His off shoulder, his left-hand shoulder, is the one that's got to point to the target, and he kind of flicks it, but he doesn't get it all the way around. Here he comes. Now, he's got to get tack the line of scrimmage just a little more. Matty Dunnigan will tell you, he comes towards the line and gets that shoulder point a little more. He 